Enchanting in Minecraft is one of the oldest mechanics in the game, and that's why it's time for an update. So, we coded enchanting differently in Minecraft. Let me show you what we did. At first glance, we have the enchanting table, which might look familiar until we go into the GUI, where you can see we have completely overhauled the way this enchanting table works. Now, it has similar elements to the vanilla enchanting table. As you can see, we've got the three different tiers of enchanting. Now, in this particular update, we made it so that you can no longer enchant tools directly. It requires a book. That's basically for simplicity. But let's continue forward, because as you can see, our system may look similar to Minecraft vanilla, but there are actually a lot of really awesome mysteries to unfold. So as you can see with our first enchantment, we got a very familiar one with Flame 1, but but the actual book has a new text, Chance of Destruction. Ooh, sounds spooky. While it may seem confusing, the Chance of Destruction is actually incredibly easy to understand. Simply put, whenever you're applying this enchantment to your tool via an anvil, there is a chance that this enchantment will be too powerful for that tool and cause it to shatter. What's that? You'd like an example? Well, no problem. As you can see, we have Auto Smelt 1. This is a new enchantment. I'll show our new enchantments a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned. But for now, you'll notice Chance of Destruction is 100%. So that means our new pickaxe, Are You Winning Son, is bound to break. But before we pull the trigger, as you can see, there are some new elements to the lore. We've got available slots. I'll explain that in just a moment. But for now, we've got to break our tool. And as you can see, it has been shattered. And unfortunately, that means that unless we repair it, this pickaxe is no longer valuable to us. <laughs> you were gone too soon, pickaxe. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now we have to worry about our tools breaking? Sounds kind of funny, but hang on. Let's actually rewind for just a moment. As I mentioned just a moment ago, before we unfortunately saw the demise of our new pickaxe, the lore of this particular tool has a new area designated for available slots for enchanting. So instead of breaking this tool, let's take a moment to explain how that works. To make enchanting even more interesting, we have added slot runes and protection runes, two different items that affect different areas of enchanting gameplay to make it all the more interesting. Going back into the anvil, you can see that we have got Woody's Roundup, a new pickaxe with one available slot for enchanting, unlike the previous netherite pickaxe, which had a lot more. Well, this is where the slot rune comes in. It allows you to essentially expand the amount of slots on a single tool so that you can fit more enchantments on it. This just makes things a little bit more interesting. And the best part is, slot runes and protection runes are the perfect loot for dungeons. Ah, get away zombies. Come on, come on. Yes, a brand new slot rune is ours. And we even updated dungeons, as you could tell, but we also made it so that you can craft your own spawners using spawner fragments and mob souls. But a little bit more on that later in the video. And no enchanting update would be complete without a bunch of brand new enchantments. And the best part is, on Origin Realms, this is only a very small portion of all of the new enchantments that we actually have. So, let's start with Auto Smelt. Have you ever wanted to automatically smelt the ores that you're mining? Because that is exactly what Auto Smelt does. This is an enchantment that not only myself, but the entire community has been asking for for a very long time. So, we finally added it on Origin Realms. Enjoy your smelted resources. Next up, we've got my favorite, Explosive. I'm sure you can guess what this does. Ooh, a bow. <laughs> oh, I love explosions. For as long as I can remember, people have been asking for explosive arrows in Minecraft, and that's why we thought it would be the perfect time to add an explosive enchantment that every now and then erupts an explosion from your arrow, which helps in the perfect situations just like that. Oh, that was scary. And of course, next up, we have got Lucky Orb, an enchantment that can be added to armor to essentially increase the amount of XP gained by XP orbs. System Z, might I say, you look snazzy. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm getting more XP from these XP bottles. I mean, it's a very subtle enchantment, but it definitely does help in survival Minecraft. 19 levels. Wow. Next up, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, next up, take two. Sneak one. Sneak up on mobs that aren't tracking you. Hmm. Do not pay attention to me, Mr. Creep. Uh, hi? Uh, who? <laughs> Stop running! Ha ha! Ha ha! Okay! Well, that worked. Barely. How about we go with Retreat 3, Sprint Faster as you get lower in hearts. This could actually come in handy. Come on, guys. We can totally work this out. I could make my great escape! Oh! Uh, uh, it's always the cactus! Next up, Marathon 3 which slows down hunger drain while sprinting. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I, I think that's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, I definitely like this. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have got Soul Collector 3. Chance of collecting souls when killing mobs. Do you remember a moment ago when I said that we added a way to actually craft your own mob spawners? Let me show you how this works. Come on, skeleton, do your worst. Ah, and there we go. We have got a soul of skeleton. And before we continue, notice we actually updated the savanna biome. You can click the i card in the top right corner if you want to watch that video. And now, thanks to the soul collector enchantment, we have soul of skeleton. And thanks to the new spawner mechanics, we have eight spawner fragments. Which, as you can see, if we combine the two, we can now craft our own skeleton spawner. Now, I know this isn't necessarily enchanting, but it's somewhere in the same area of the game, and we thought it would be cool nevertheless. Hey, take it easy, guys. Take it easy. So, there you have it for our enchanting update. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you can do so by joining Origin Realms using the IP on screen now. So, there you have it for our enchanting update. Here on Origin Realms, we've been working on this server for a very, very, very long time. So, it would mean the world to me if you would check it out. It's a really fun survival experience that I honestly think you will enjoy. But that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, I've selected two videos just for you that I think you would like even more. If you click to the left, you can see how we gave the Savannah biome an update in Minecraft. And if you click to the right, you can see how we coded pillagers completely differently in Minecraft. Both are great, and I think you're going to love them. That being said, thank you so much for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.